from somewhere, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. How is it possible, man? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. <laughs> You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio, enjoying the crap out of it. Just enjoying the crap out of it. Middle of the summer, here we are all together, you and me, doing radio. How great is this? You, me, a phallic-looking microphone and that big stick. That's what we call the transmitter down here at the radio station. That big stick. Oh, yeah. You know, I uh, I have told you, and I like talking about this every once in a while because it uh, it is uh, one of the great things in life, I think, and that is gadgets. I uh, I am a big consumer of gadgets. There are some gadgets that I just think do amazing things. I am not interested in gadgets just because they are gadgets. For example, I don't own an iPhone. I think they're cool, but I don't own one. Why? Because I don't like the idea of being told what telephone company I have to do business with. They have every right to do that, and I have every right to say, let me know when you guys open it up a little bit. Who knows? Maybe I would choose AT&T when all is said and done, but I don't like being told. So they have the right as a company to do what they like. It's a free country. And as a consumer, I have the right to do what I like. I'll wait. Until the iPhone is so compelling, I can't resist it anymore. Oh, yeah, I've hung out with people who have iPhones. I've uh, played with them. And they're really cool devices. But um, yeah, that just gets under my skin, you know. Uh, got another one for you. I, I am a direct TV subscriber. And it's one of these things where I've been in it so long and the channel selection is so good that you'd have, you have to pry me out of there with a crowbar. But one thing I don't like is unlike any other company, a communications company, DirecTV tells you which DVR you have to use. You can't use TiVo. You can't use your laptop if you've got Windows Media Player. You can't use any other DVR other than the one they have. I don't like the one they have. And by the way, I know because I've got ten of them. Ten of them, yes. I got a couple of big houses with a lot of TVs. I mean, that's the thing. I'm telling you this as a customer. But what I really don't like is that when you sign up for Direct TV, if you're planning on using TiVo, forget it. They won't let you use it. They will not support it. Now, had I not already been entrenched in Direct TV, and had I not only already had. Uh, tasted of the 850 channels I have maybe I wouldn't be there for that reason but can you imagine if uh, your cable company said you can only use 
A Magnavox VCR. That's it. When there were VCRs around. Or DVD players. You know, when you uh, sign up with your cable company, you can use pretty much any DVR you like. The cable company has one that they'll rent to you. And you can also buy one, but not with DirecTV. You can't do it. And um, I'm still a customer, and I still think DirecTV, uh, in, in, as far as the number of channels they have and the quality of the picture and everything, I think it's the best service. This is the one thing about DirecTV I hate, and I will always hate until they change it, which hopefully someday they will. So it's kind of like the iPhone thing, but it's a, it's a little different because AT&T doesn't tell you that you can only use one brand of telephone. The iPhone is one of many phones they have. It's the other way around. Apple tells you if you want the iPhone, you have to use AT&T. And there's some financial incentive for that. So you, you don't have the right to shop and compare and bargain around. You don't. Don't like it. Uh, but uh, how ironic, I'm dissatisfied with some of the business behind some of these gadgets, like the iPhone, but I love the iPhone. I think it's a great, great gadget. I think DirecTV is a great television service compared to cable or compared to um, the sticking an antenna on top of my TV and buying that uh, box in 2009. I, I, I do prefer having DirecTV. I love HDTV. I love all the channels they have. I think it's great. But um, the DVR thing needs to be fixed. But there's other gadgets out there that I uh, am totally enjoying, and I'm wondering uh, which gadgets you happen to like right now. One of them that's in development right now, which is coming out soon, and I've been following its progress. I I've told you about the Slingbox, which is a gadget that I own. The Slingbox takes all the content from whatever is um, on your TV at home, and, and sends it to your laptop uh, anywhere in the world. When I was in France during the NBA playoffs, I got up early in the morning and I watched the Lakers on TV. In my room. On my laptop. That sling box is an amazing gadget. It's amazing. If you've never seen what it does. You can take up to four audio-visual devices and hook them up to your Slingbox. So you can access your DVD player. You can preload it with you know a couple of DVDs. You can uh, access your CD player, put a few CDs in it if you like. You can even have an old-school VCR. You can hook it up to your uh, Slingbox, and you can be on the road watching all of that stuff. And I do. When I visit my brother... My brother does not have the National Hockey League package. He doesn't pay for it. So he'll ask me, do you have your computer with you? Can we watch hockey? Do you have the Tampa Bay Lightning game? And then I can flip out the uh, flip open my laptop and show it to him. I've done it. Well, now Slingbox is coming out with a, an, a, an upgrade. Uh, they're coming out with a true HD Slingbox. You're now going to be, because previously it was not true HD. You got the aspect ratio, if you know what that means. You get the wide screen of HD, but not the, uh, uh, not the uh, picture quality of HD. That's the next thing that's coming, and it's coming soon. It's being beta tested right now. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Um, this UMA gadget, which they've been advertising quite a bit, this is also pretty amazing. You pay 250 bucks to get an UMA. And then uh, once you've installed the thing, which is a snap, uh, all your local and domestic long distance is free forever. And they include Canada and I believe Mexico in there. Uh, that's it. No monthly fees. It's not like Vonage where you have to pay $25 a month or pack it eight. Uh, you don't have to pay any monthly fee. You, you pay one fee and uh, in 10 months you've broken even with Vonage. And then after that, it's all gravy. Uma. Didn't I call it Uma? No, 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 no. I was talking about Vonage. You, you, you're trying to break even against... See, now, Art, you're getting me confused. Vonage is $25 a month. If you buy Uma for 250 bucks, it takes 10 months to break even with Vonage. You see what I'm saying? 
I'm not saying I, I know you're when you're on using Uma, it takes ten months to break even versus Vonage. If I wasn't clear, I'll make it clear. And uh, then after the first ten months, <laughs> it's free forever. That's a hell of a deal. And the quality of the phone is good. That's a gadget I've played with at home, and I've enjoyed it. There's so many great gadgets. Some of them are video games. Some of them are TV, features on TVs that you never saw before. I mean, uh, one of the things that's coming next from Sling Media that does the Sling Box, you know, this is just the first wave. What they're going to do in the future, all that content you watch on the Internet, YouTube or Whatever videos are there, Hulu.com or any of those websites that you visit that have video, at one point you will then be able to watch those on TV, which is going to be great for you and not that great for the TV industry, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. But how great will that be when they you have a gadget where you can watch Internet video on your big screen TV? You're then going to see how bad the video quality is on your big screen. But you will not have to sit hovered over a laptop or your cell phone or a computer to watch it. You can watch it on a big screen. I love doing these shows about gadgets because I like learning about gadgets as much as I like talking about them. And I think most guys do. And maybe you've heard of a gadget that I haven't heard about yet, but I'm, I'm talking about the newest stuff. Are you a gadget freak? You a gadget fiend? Maybe you just like gadgets, but yeah, you're not really a fiend. You don't keep up with it, but maybe you'd like to hear about other people's experiences. I would. So if you have bought or used any really great gadgets recently, electronic gadgets of all kinds, I'd like to know what they are. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Oh, my God. I cannot handle this anymore. I don't know what to do with these bitches over here. You know, why don't, why don't more people listen to you? Just hop them and dump them. The Tom Likey Show. Right. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. Which ones are you using now? Omar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Omar. Uh, I wanted to tell you about a great gadget. Uh, it's called the Backup Pal. Backup Pal. What does it do? Basically, uh, backs up all the numbers on your phone at a touch of a button. You just hook it up to your phone. You press one button. It downloads all your numbers onto the gadget itself, and you could upload it to another phone. Can't you just use Bluetooth to go from one phone to another? No, it's done uh, with a hard wire. It's without a Bluetooth. You just uh, And it has an extension for most phones. I think about 80% of the phones that are out there on the market. Really? Yeah. So you don't need to use a PC or anything? No, you just, uh, it's, their website I think is backup-pal.com and then you just, uh, go there, you order it, I think it's like 40 bucks or something. You don't work for the company, do you? No. You just seem to know a lot about it. Yeah, I've done my research. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I did my research is, uh, I heard you talking about the iPhone. I, I'm an iPhone user myself, but, you know, iPhone does the, uh, you know, over-the-air numbers where you back up your numbers over the air. But this one's cool because you could just uh, pull it out, plug it into your phone, press a button, and then it's done. Well, I guess if you're always changing phones, it might be worth 40 bucks. For me, I use my computer. You use your computer. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's what I do. I mean, it's no, of no use to me, but for people that don't use the computer or, you know, aren't into keeping their info on the computer, I guess that's what they would use it for. But I thought yeah. it was a cool gadget because you were talking about gadgets. Oh, absolutely. Again, it doesn't matter what, what I use or what I need. What matters is what's cool to you, of course. Yep. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you for that. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. What gadgets are you using? Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hey, Tom. Man, I'm just like you. I love gadgets. I've got one. It's similar to Slingbox. It's made by a different company. It's uh, made by Pinnacle, and it's called PC TV to Go, and it is an HD, and it's also wireless. This is the greatness of this this device here. It's just like a Slingbox, except for it will transmit. If you have an HD receiver, uh, like a satellite receiver, it will transmit the signal via the internet, just like Slingbox, uh, to HD to a computer anywhere. Um, but it's also got a wireless feature. Like right now, I'm sitting outside in the back of my uh, back of the, in backyard, enjoying the the cool weather we're finally having here in Dallas, and I can connect with my PC to my receiver in my living room and can watch the TV on it on my laptop with no wires, nothing. It connects. I don't even have to have an internet connection. It connects through my uh, home wireless system. Really? Yes. It is the greatest device. Wait a minute. So what that means, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you about this. What that means is that rather than having the cable guy come over and tack wires all over your wall, you only need to be hooked up in one room and then it sends the signal to all the other TVs? No, it doesn't send it to the C. You've got to have a PC to connect to it uh, okay. wirelessly. It won't send it to the, any, any other TVs. You've got to have a device, a PC to connect to it. So it sends it. it to a PC? Yeah, or a laptop. Okay. Right. And uh, the other great thing is it also has, um, there is a, uh, there's a, a mobile program that's available. And if you have a, uh, one of these uh, MDA type uh, phones, like I have a T-Mobile MDA phone, which is like a smartphone, iPhone type thing. Right. It will connect to it as well. So if you've got a wireless connection, say I'm in a Starbucks or something, and I want to watch the news, I can connect through a wireless connection, through an internet connection on my little on my phone, and can watch whatever's on my TV. Can change the channel, do whatever I want to. And yeah, by the, by the way, that's what Slingbox does that too. Right. Uh, although it does it for only some phones, it does it for the uh, Palm Trio phones, for example. But yeah. it does not do it yet for BlackBerry or iPhone. I don't know if, if iPhones available for. I don't have an iPhone, but I know that uh, they're 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 adding more and more phones to this. Uh, that that program is still in the beta stage for the um, for the phones, and they're adding more and more phones to the list that can can use that program. But this device is just incredible. I, I mean, I was just like you. I went on vacation. Uh, was in Europe. Uh, with my wife, we were having a good time. Wanted to find out what was going on back home. Fired up my wireless connection in my hotel. Got on the, uh, started up the program. Bam, I'm watching the local news here in Dallas, finding out what's going on back home. All of it live on my TV. Plus, I recorded some programs that I wanted to watch on my DVR. Played them all back for me. Greatest device I love it. ever. I love it. And and the best thing is it's it's H it, it does it in H D quality. If you've got really? a PC Yes, if you have a PC like I have a brand new Dell PC that has an has a H it's an H D screen on it. I'm sitting here right now. Now I've got it turned off because I don't want to interfere because I'm on a cell phone, I don't want to get any interference here. But I can sit here in my backyard like I am right now and can watch H D quality programming on my PC. Now let me ask you a question. Do you need an extra fast Internet connection to use that feature? You do have to have you do have to have a broadband connection. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, uh, one of the faster broadband connections. No. For example, uh, that's interesting because Slingbox, the HD uh, version of Slingbox, you're going to have to have 1.5 to 2 MPS, whatever it is, one million MPS, whatever it is, as opposed to 500,000 or to a million, which is what most DSLs are. All this requires is a broadband connection. It, it won't work with a dial-up. Uh, I tried it with a dial-up, and it won't work. It, it'll come on, but the picture's jerky, and, and you, get, you, know, you still have the quality. But you do have to have a PC that has a, a fast processor, and you need a broadband connection to get the, to get the programming, and it's, it's great. I love it. I'm writing it down right now. Pinnacle. It's made by Pinnacle. That that's something I have a use for. Pinnacle TV to go. All right. PC, PC TV to go. Got it. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate the call. Part of this is for me so I can write down names of gadgets I haven't tried yet. And you can, too. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sarah is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Hi, um, I was just I just wanted to talk about a new cell phone that should be coming out probably within the next year. Okay. It's um, called a laser projected cell phone. I don't know what the model is or what company is doing it yet, but what it is is you can go into your pictures or your videos and actually turn it on and point it toward a wall, and then it becomes, like, life-size, and you can watch it. Really? Yeah. We, I actually work for a company that makes the chips for those, along with uh, the iPhone is one of them, so... Um, we just actually got the order in, and we're starting to make them here within the next couple of weeks. So that's why I'm estimating probably about a year before they come out. Wow. Now, have you seen it work? Um, I haven't seen it work. They showed us kind of computerized pictures that they took, so I'm, I'm not sure what kind of a phone it is. So, But we will be one of the companies making the chips for those. Wow. Well, Sarah, thank you for that uh, update. I, that, that's fascinating. Some of this stuff is amazing. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Pete on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Pete. Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? I'm doing okay. Hey, uh, I actually just learned about this piece uh, a few weeks ago, but I love it to death. It's called Voodoo, V-U-D-U. -U. They sell them at Best Buy, 300 bucks, and what it is is, it basically replaces any need for Netflix or Blockbuster, anything like that. It's uh, instant access to movies on demand. You buy the box, and then you you, you know you, you put an account, you set up an account, you put a hundred bucks in it, and movies are anywhere from like ninety nine cents to to uh, twenty bucks if you want to buy the movie and actually store it on the on the uh, Voodoo box. And uh, how many and movies are how many movies do you have available there? Uh, over 7,000 titles right now, and uh, from because ever since I got it, I've been following it religiously. They just, I think Monday, released 1,000 porn titles that you can now access instantly, uh, just like that. So that's uh, that's a new thing that uh, they, they were talking about, and I guess in the near future, they're expecting upwards of 7,000 porn titles now. I mean, all for anywhere from ninety nine cents to twenty bucks to buy the buy the whole movie. Now, I, I've heard about this service. It's, I believe, it's owned by certain movie studios, but not, uh, not all of them participate. Is that right? I, I you know, I'm not a hundred percent sure as far as that goes. I I know that when I when I bought it, they said ninety percent of the studios support it. Uh, the, the 10 percent, I guess one of them was uh, George Lucas, so no Star Wars movies, which is kind of a bummer for me. But other than that, everything else is like, you know, er there's so everything is is uh, for one picture quality is better than DVD because the actual uh, master is what they put on the service. They don't like burn a DVD and and, you know, store it on like some some central drive. But the big thing is, is. You press play and it starts playing right away. It's not. There's no buffer. There's nothing. It's. It's the the technology is called. Um, I forgot what it's called, but what it does is, is it. It's you. It's a network. Every Voodoo box is connected to each other, and it takes packets from each one to get the movie like instantaneously. Instead Wait a minute. So what it kind of does is it uses the technology that was used on those pirate websites like. Uh, uh, like Napster exactly. or uh, BitTorrent and Bit others. Torrent, that's what it's called, exactly. That's what and it's it, called. Is, is this the BitTorrent software, or is this uh, something that, that's like an imitation of it? No, it, it, it runs off BitTorrent, BitTorrent technology, um, the, and basically the, the more Voodoo boxes out there, the, the, the stronger the network, which means you know, the, you know, the more movies you can get so, uh, as fast. So, uh, and I think the the guy, because actually, uh, my buddy works for a store that sells them, and he kind of informs me about this stuff, and he's the one that told me about the porn. He also said that uh, in the next six months, they're going to start uh, having on there, like, old, you know, football games. Any, pretty much every football game ever recorded is going to be available for them, like, 99 cents per download or what have you. So if you're a big sports fan, you can get into it and start watching football games. It's like your favorite game was the USC uh, Notre Dame game a couple years back that was like just outrageous. You can buy and just, you know, keep it on there if you don't already have it recorded and just save it on your drive. Wow. 
Wow. Well, this is all very exciting. Uh, Voodoo, I have heard about it, of course. Uh, Netflix is doing some of these same things, although they may not be as advanced as Voodoo at this point. I'm not sure. Well, cool thing about Voodoo that I, I forgot to mention is, let's say you're, you're, you're about to watch uh, a movie and you see, okay, it'll give you a list of actors and actresses in the movie, the director. You'll say, you know what, I don't want to watch this movie, but I like whatever, Pamela Anderson. Let me see what else she did. And it'll show you a list of all the movies once you click on her that she's done and, and what have you. So the searching is, is awesome. You, do, you can go to, like, Robert De Niro and then, like, hey, I saw he did a movie with this guy. What else does he have? And the, the interface is, is awesome. It's like you're just navigating, like, so it's so simple to find anything you want. It's not like you're, like, looking through a whole library of DVDs. You're just, you use a little tiny remote control and you have a little wheel. You just thumb right through it, click on who it is you want, see what movies they've done, and, you know, boom, you've got a preview. Or, or you can just go ahead and uh, rent it for, for a buck or two. Wow. Yeah. It sounds great. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, which of the gadgets out there now are you using and enjoying and want other people to know about? Here is Carlos on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Carlos. Hi. Uh, earlier, I'm sorry. Earlier Hi. you were talking about uh, watching YouTube on your TV or your laptop. Yeah. Apple TV actually does that. Uh, Apple, the same people who make uh, iPhone, of course, have the, uh, the Apple TV. It's like a set box. You hook it up to your computer, and you, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, to your TV, and you can just watch uh, YouTube uh, videos right on, t on uh, your TV with the Apple TV. Now, um, that's interesting. Why hasn't Apple TV been successful? I, I know it's been around for a while. Why don't people like it? That's a great question. I think it's actually the price. Uh, when it first started out, it was about two ninety nine. Uh, you got about forty gigabytes worth of storage on it. So if you wanted, like, to put movies on it and uh, uh, your music library, your movie library, I just don't think they have they, they haven't marketed it right. Very user friendly. It's it's got the same. You know, it's from the same people from uh, uh, iPhone and the iMac. So you'd think something easy to use. It would appeal to a lot of people. It's just the marketing. I think um, it's just not geared to the right towards the right people. Uh, does it have limitations? Uh, well, well, the Apple TV, like, if you use iTunes for your for your music library and uh, to download movies and all that, it's all synchronized with uh, with iTunes. The only the only limitation is really uh, the size. Like you, you can store your music, you can store your movies on it to a certain extent. Uh, they come up in sizes 40 gigabytes and 160 gigabyte, 160. So you can imagine how many uh, videos you can put on on, on that device. Um, so I think they're going to kind of slowly trudge it along, and then eventually it'll, it'll find its little niche market. But right now it's the simplest uh, Apple solution to kind of uh, get, you know, get, get a steam rolling. Wow. All right. Uh, thank you for that, Carlos. I appreciate it. We're talking about all the gadgets out there. Uh, there's always new ones, which is why this is a good show to do every couple of months, just to find out what gadgets people are using, what the advantages are, the disadvantages. I just think this stuff is great. If you're using a great gadget you want us to know about, call us and tell us about it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I hope that you're writing down all these hours that you're spending on the radio because these are public and community service hours, sir. You are doing a community service. You are spouting truth and telling these dumb people that I see all day long to use condoms and stop procreating. Right. You are doing community service, sir. It's the Tom Likes Show. It's Tom Likes. Here I am with you talking gadgets at 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you using an interesting gadget? It's Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. First caller of the segment. This is typical. There you go. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. I have a really cool gadget. Do you plan to tell me about it? I, I'm sorry. I'm on a cell phone, and I'm going in and out here. Um, it's called a dock and talk. 
And what it's designed to do is um, I first started using this on my boat where I have uh, three plugs for regular uh, telephone lines and in different staterooms. And what what the box does is it picks up a Bluetooth signal from your cell phone. So when I get on the boat, the uh, Bluetooth automatically picks it up and transmits the signal throughout the um, any plugged-in telephone. So if my cell phone rings, I can actually answer or make calls from any regular phone on the boat. And I've started using that also in my apartment now. Wow. It is that has some uses. Cool. Uh, I think that would also be useful for people who have a lousy cell signal in their apartment. Um, well, it, it doesn't necessarily increase the signal. Um, it, well, I well, agree. Yeah, you could get a good, better signal, and then you leave your phone where it is, and then the Bluetooth can uh, transmit the phone call to the rest of the uh, phones throughout the apartment or house. Yeah, like some people live in an apartment where you can only get reception in one part of the apartment. Right. I guess yeah, you just leave your but, phone there. But I... I, I plug mine into my charger and then just leave it uh, charging on a desk, and then I can use the phone throughout the um, the apartment anywhere I want to. I love it. I live in the Hollywood Hills, and uh, I have lousy uh, cell signal uh, in my home. There are places where I can talk on the phone, and then much of the house, because the hills, uh, has a lousy signal. Yeah. It would be perfect for there. Sounds good to me. All right, Tom, thank you for that. Doc and talk. Love it. It's Lewis on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Lewis. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, uh, what I wanted to share with everybody is the rock band game. I don't know. It's pretty popular out right now. Uh, what it is is you get on your room with three or four friends. They have a, a wireless guitar, a drum set, and a bass and a mic. Oh, you get the beautiful vibe with your friends. You get some of the best songs in rock, well, at least in my opinion. And it's just a great game. I really recommend it. Now, wasn't there another game like that? Yeah, uh, Guitar Hero, maybe. DDR. Guitar Hero, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the difference? Well, uh, it seems to me that in Guitar Hero, it's more of a, it looks more fictionalized. The songs don't, don't sound exactly as they do when you play with two guitars or something like that, but uh, in rock band, it's a little more dealing with singing, playing, uh, playing coordinated with your band members, and pretty much doing, it, doing music correctly. It's not as uh, specific as, uh, as a real guitar or a violin or anything like that, but it just gets a great vibe going, which I think is pretty cool. Now, do you have to know how to play a guitar or drums uh, uh, in order to score points in this game? Not at all. Uh, all you do is pretty much just get on the get on your TV, look at the notes coming down. Pretty much, just have to be a little coordinated. It gets takes a little bit of time to actually get into it. You could start at easy or medium, but with some practice, maybe a day of practice, you could pretty much be rocking out, enjoying it, seeing yourself improve. Wow! All right, rock band. <laughs> I'm looking at the website. It looks pretty cool. And then uh, it says here, coming soon, Rock Band 2. Oh, that's yeah, I heard the rumor about that. What's cool is you could keep downloading songs. They come up with a new song every week. So find your favorite songs, hope for your favorite songs, and you'll be all right. And these are the actual songs, not like karaoke uh, remakes of songs. Correct, yeah. They're, they're the real, authentic songs. Wow. Ah. Totally cool. All right, rock band. There we go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Christian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Hey, I was going to say, I love the iPhone, too. Um, have you ever looked at getting a uh, an unlocked one for yourself? No, because, uh, you know, you don't have all the features when you get an unlocked one. Uh, well, I got most. I use most. I pretty much get most of the features. But there's another thing that you might like, though. It's called um, a Vumber number. It's V U M B E R, and what it is, you can get up to like five. You can you link it up to your cell phone, and you can get up to five extra different phone numbers that are untraceable to you. So if there's like a if you met like a girl out one night and you didn't want her to know what your actual phone number was, get for your Vumber number, and then it can be disconnected at any time. And then what you can also do too is if like you're out with another girl. 
and she calls you, you can push just one button on your cell phone, and it'll tell her that the phone line's been disconnected or something, even though it's still an active number you can use on a, on top of your current phone number. <laughs> now, that's my kind of software. Yeah, it, yeah, you just sign up for it at the website, and you can do all that stuff, but then they'll never know what number it is, and it can never be traced back to you at all, and they guarantee that. So, like, even if they try to Google the number, it'll, it won't come back as anything. It'll just show up as being nothing. But you can use any area code you want. I mean, and you can, I think they give you up to, like, five numbers or something like that. for like. A what, do they, what do they charge for that? Oh, my buddy just signed up for it. I, I, it's not expensive. I think it's, like, maybe, like, five to ten bucks. Wow. Yeah, and, and like, there's all these different things that you can push for, like, to ignore the person, too, so that they kind of get the hint that you don't want to talk to them. So, oh, so, so if you want to let them know you want them to get lost, you can do that, too. Oh, yeah. And then you can, you can always change them, too. So you, if, you, if like, you, you just want to change the numbers, nobody else has it, you can just get more Humber numbers. <laughs> I think that's a riot. Yeah, it's pretty cool, so. Well, thank you for that, Christian. Thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate the call. Mike, on the Tom Likas Tom. Show. Yeah. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. I just wanted to call and let you know about this gadget that um, I, I've been shopping for Bluetooth headsets for months, even before the law came out. And then I came across this uh, great device which allows you to talk on a cell phone while you're driving without having any earpiece, uh, without having an earpiece in your ear. So it's just a headset receiver, a uh, Bluetooth receiver that you just put on your visor. It syncs with your phone automatically as soon as you turn it on. And it just works amazing. I'm on it right now, actually. So what does it do? Does it send the signal through your car radio, or what does it do? No, it has a built-in speaker. It's very small. It's, it's pretty slim, but it's very loud. And it's, uh, it has big functions, call and end. That's, that's all you need. And the way you turn it on and off, is by pushing the button where the microphone pops out. As soon as the microphone's out, it's co it automatically syncs with your phone, and it works perfect. Wow. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, I've, I've had other Bluetooth headsets, about uh, probably 12 of them. Anywhere, I paid anywhere from 20 to $120 for those headsets, and none of them work properly, and you always, like, it, it has delays and all kinds of stuff. This one, instantaneous. I mean, it picks up the call. All you have to do is push one big button, the call button, and, and that's it. You, you're on. And I see the web address here is mybluant.com. Yep. Fantastic. They have, they have varieties of that uh, headset, actually, and they're not that expensive if you think about it. I bought mine from uh, Wireless Toys, actually. You know the wireless store chain? Yeah. Yeah, they, they they have them. They carry those, and and um, you know I I paid hundred and twenty dollars, but you can get it cheaper probably from the website itself. I was just you know really in a hurry to get it because I get phone calls a lot. Nature of my call, my, my work actually. Sorry. Wow. Sounds good to me, Mike. All right. Thanks, Tom. Just wanted to let you know. Please blow me out, Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. Oh. That's our telephone number. This is Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing okay. <laughs> okay, I got a great device that I'm absolutely in love with. First of all, I'm a Macaholic, so I love Apple products. But... Uh, it's called the Airport Express. It's so basically a router that can send your cable or your DSL through your computer to do 802.11bg. And I have the older generation. It does N now, I think, as well. But it has a feature in it called AirTunes. I'm now listening to the Tom Likas show through iTunes in my garage and from my computer in the house. And it's got a very nice feature is if you have a high-end equipment and you do rip your files from a CD and you do them lossless, you get the full true digital signal because they do put a optical cable out of this as well as a mini headphone jack. So if you have the analog way of doing things, you can listen to your music throughout the house. Wow. Um, another great feature, I did mention the Macaholic comment, I'm using the iPhone to control this. I'm controlling iTunes in the home 
with my iPhone and listening in the garage. And I can listen. I have three of these in my home. I have one in my living room, bedroom, and the garage. And I can listen to all of the same stream through all of them minus the delay and plus listen to it at the computer. So I could have four streams going right now at the same time throughout the house. $99. That's where it's all going. The uh, ability to watch or listen to any of your media anywhere you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this remote function in the iPhone is incredible because we were, you were talking with the listener earlier about the Apple TV. It also controls the Apple TV. You can use it as a remote control there. If you lose a little remote, you've got your phone in your hand. Control your movies. Go to YouTube. Type a search in so you don't have to use the left and right buttons to go A, B, C, D. You can actually type on your phone and type a search. Send, go. And the Apple TV has AirTunes built in it as well. So if you wanted to listen to that library on your computer and turn your television on, you could control your Apple TV the same way. Wow. There, yeah. Wait, Apple TV? Is there an Apple TV actually? There is. There, Apple TV is similar to what the gentleman called earlier about Voodoo. Voodoo is incredible. I box. thought Apple TV was a box like Slingbox. I didn't think it was an actual TV. No, it isn't. It is about the size of about three pancakes. It's extremely hot too. Has about a, I, my, the one I have has a hundred and sixty gig drive in it. It puts all the music is on your computer if you'd like it to in that box. So you don't have to have your iTunes library open or your computer on. You can physically use this with your home entertainment system. And the nice part about it is it's tiny, too, so I don't have to own two of them. I can pull it off the one television, bring it in the bedroom, hook up a couple cables. It has HDMI out, digital out. Uh, Sounds great. The Tom Likas Show.